What's up YouTube, Henry Chung Fitness here. Today we are going to review the McGean Heart Rate Monitor from AliExpress. Now, if you've seen my YouTube shorts, I actually have the McGean H64 heart rate monitor. While I did like it, I found that it was a low cost option for my first heart rate monitor. Initially, this was connected, but I had to cut it because I found out that I wasn't getting good signal out of the heart rate monitor strap. And so I went ahead and cut it based on some YouTube videos and forums that I've seen. And it seemed to work a bit better. The signal seemed to pick up better and was a bit more smooth. However, I found that this heart rate monitor was just not quite up to expectations. The fit wasn't great. This one does have a hooking method to attach the heart rate monitor to the chest. And because of this hooking method, sometimes as I'm running, the hook would just undo itself. It actually did unhook during one of my competitions and I didn't get heart rate data that whole run. So pretty bummed out about that. So the hook method, definitely not a great thing for heart rate monitor straps. It worked okay for what it was, but I wanted to get a new heart rate monitor. So I actually jumped on the McGean H603 heart rate monitor because it was a fairly low cost option. This one pairs to my Garmin watch as well as your computer or bike computer connects to your smartphone. And this one does support Bluetooth or AMP plus in terms of communication. They do mention a thousand hours battery life and IP67 protection. So who knows, maybe I can try this out in water for swims as well. But for the most part, this was about $43 on AliExpress on the McGean official store. It did seem to kind of solve the issues that I saw earlier. So I'll show you what the heart rate monitor strap is like. It's basically, this is the strap now, as you can see, Compared to the H64, they actually did away with the middle portion, so they cut that portion out. And now you've got the heart rate monitor just connecting by the snap buttons here. So this is how you connect it. That's the only way to keep the strap together. So you know that you won't be unhooking the strap while running. So that's a big plus to it. The strap does seem like better quality in terms of the elastic. Maybe it's just because I've used the H64 for a long time. I've sweat in it and I've washed it a few times, but the strap material of the H603 seems like better elastic material and higher quality. So I think they've bumped up their quality on in that perspective. They do have the similar electrode material here to get the signal from your heart rate. The adjustment strap is fairly easy to use. Go ahead and loosen or tighten the strap through these two buckles. It uses a CR2032 coin cell battery. It is the superior design compared to the H64. So McGean definitely learned from their previous model. And that's one thing that I really like to see in the Chinese manufacturers and brands. They do take feedback into account and they try to design a better solution for customers. So that's definitely one thing that I really like to see. I'll just show you how it connects to the chest. All right, so as you can see, I've got my McGean H603 heart rate monitor on, and I've got a two hour, 45 minute bike ride into an hour, 40 minute run. So it's a brick workout today. So we're gonna go ahead and test this, perfect time to test it, bike and run portion. So we'll see how the heart rate monitor fares. Let's get to our brick workout. Piss break as per usual. And it looks like I might have peed on my shoes. Alright, so 
We're testing out the Magin H603. Just took a piss break and I'm actually going to remove my watch to test out to see if it still picks up a pulse uh, because it will no longer be on the wrist. Technically, it should still be, yep. So you can see it's still taking the heart rate measurement. 111, warm up, and let's see if it goes down or up. Yep, 110, 109 as I'm calming down a bit. So it's definitely working, it's connected. We'll go ahead and check out the data once we get home, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna get going, finish our ride, an hour 15 minutes left to go. And then we're going on to uh, an hour 40 minute brick run. Okay, so two hour 15 ish ride done, 65 kilometers. So I'm gonna go ahead, change, get into a run for the brick workout, one hour 40 minutes, I believe. So let's get going. I'm gonna leave the heart monitor on and then gonna head out, do a run, zone two run. Let's see how the heart monitor fares. <music> So we finished our brick workout, bike and run, and we'll go ahead and check out the data. I did take a quick look and it looks like things are pretty good. Based on my ride, it was a 65 kilometer ride, two hours, 12 minutes, average speed 29.6 kilometers per hour. And my heart rate looks pretty good. It was supposed to be a zone two ride. Now, when I look at my power zones, time and zones, heart rate, for the most part, it's actually, most of it is in zone three and, you know, in the aerobic, but in terms of the power zone, mostly zone one and zone two, I'd say some in three, four and five. However, in terms of the heart rate, Let's just go ahead and check out the heart rate. It looks steady. It looks reliable. It doesn't appear like there are any dropouts or anything of the sort. And the graph is fairly consistent. So let me just overlay this with speed. You can see at this one point where it dips because I actually probably stopped for a piss break then. But other than that, it looks really consistent. Let's go over to my run. My run, it was a 17 kilometer run, an hour 35 workout, an average pace of five minutes, 35 seconds per kilometer. And the heart rate data we could see right here. Uh, let's just go over to the heart rate zones. Zone two for the most part, which is good. Glad to see that this was supposed to be a zone two run after the uh, zone two ride. And you could see uh, steady throughout, I'd say for the heart rate. In terms of the dips here, I'm pretty sure that's when I took quick pauses to intake my sodium. So I did slow down or even stop at those points. So let's see, pace. So yeah, you can see my pace dropped in these moments where you see the dips in the heart rate. So that's good to see. This is great. This is really confidence inspiring. So just really happy with it. The heart rate monitor did kind of pull down off my chest 
momentarily during my run so I did have to readjust it so just make sure the strap is tightened properly. The signal is the most important part of the heart rate monitor and it being reliable so really happy to see that. I would actually rate this five stars for the price 40 to 45 dollars Canadian for a heart rate monitor and it comes with the battery coin cell battery pairs to the Garmin watch really easily and the strap is definitely an upgrade from before because you've got the buckles on both sides and you have no hooks so it should stay in place one thing that i did mention previously is if it had some sort of grippy elasticated material on the heart rate monitor strap that would kind of help it stay in place but that's that's just an added bonus that i would like to see in let's say a future version but we'll see how this holds up over time Hopefully I'll use this in competition sometime. I don't think I'll use it for my swim because technically it's not rated for swimming, but who knows, maybe I'll try it out. Overall, five stars from McGeen, H603 heart rate monitor. Check it out on AliExpress. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know below if you've used the H64, if you've had issues and or if you have the H603 and if you've seen an improvement, happy running, happy cycling, and have a good one.